everyone! I'm Faith Conanan, a medical doctor from the Philippines. I remember most of the interviews we had then and one of the most frequently asked questions sa men during med school, clerkship, and internship was kung ano yung pre-med course namin, anong batch kami nag-graduate sa pre-med course namin, or saan school ka nag-aral ng yung pre-med course. So ano nga ba ang best pre-med for medical school? Is it nursing, DS Bio, DS Medical Technology, Grad Tech, Physical Therapy? Ano nga ba ang best pre-med for medical school? If you want to know why, please keep on watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you will be notified once I upload a new video. So let's get to it! For today's episode, this is just an introductory video of the different pre-med courses that we will be talking about. But before going into a deeper explanation of each one, I would like to share my personal thoughts and experience on what you could consider in choosing your pre-med courses. So, let's get to it! So, you could assess yourself uh, with the help of this 5 W's and 1 H's so what, where, when, why, and how. So you could assess yourself on this question. So number one would be, whose decision is it? So is it your personal choice? Choice but ng parents mo? Your relatives? Those who are financing your education? Is it from peer pressure? Kasi gusto ng kaibigan mo or kaklase mo na itake ang course na to? Is it from the current trends or yung mga in-demand courses as of the moment? The next one to consider is, what are your interests? So, do you prefer studying life or organisms? Do you prefer interacting with people? Do you would want to stay in a laboratory? Are you more of a kinesthetic type of learner? Or do you want to study on medicinal drugs? Next one would be, when do you want yourself to finish? So, do you have a timeline for yourself? There are courses that require 4 years of bachelor's degree before you are able to graduate. Well, there are courses that require 5 years in order to earn a bachelor's degree before you could take up medicine. It depends on your pre-med course. If you want to take a 4-year bachelor's degree, you could take BS Nursing, BS Biology, Pharmacy, Medical Technology, Rad Tech, and the like. But if you took physical therapy or other like engineering courses that are also acceptable in the medical school, you will have to take a 5-year bachelor degree course before taking medicine. Next one would be the location. Where would you want to take your chosen course? So if you live in the province, do you want to take it in your local area? Do you want to go in the city or do you want to study in Manila for you to take your chosen pre-med course? So another important things that you have to consider is the performance of your school in the board exam, the passing rate of your of that school. I believe those details uh, can help you in choosing which school best suits for your course depending on their accreditation status and their national board performance. The next one to consider is why will you take this course? So if you're really planning in go. So the next one to consider is why will you take this course? So if you're really planning in going to the med school, you have to consider if this course will help you perform better in the NMAT or the National Medical Admission Test. Will this help you have faster applications in the medical schools that you would want to enroll? And the last thing is, will it give you advantages in your uh, medical school performance or hospital or clinical exposure in the future? But definitely not the least, which is also an important thing to consider, is that how will your course affect your future line of work in case you will not be able to pursue or to study medicine. So you have to think of these different um, career opportunities or other circumstances that might happen in the future if you will not be able to pursue medicine. So these five W's and one H could help you ponder upon yourself in choosing your pre-med course. Just keep them all in mind. So if you want to know my personal reason and experience in choosing my pre-med course, please comment down below. If you have any questions, suggestions, or clarifications with other pre-med courses that you would want us to talk about, let me know as well. So that's it for this episode. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Stay safe everyone. Bye!